And welcome back guys, it's Fox with Foxo Games, and we just took out the Four Kings. It was not easy, it took quite a while. Uh, I think we died two or three times, I can't remember. And now we're going to go see if which Beatrice's armor set is available, if it's out. Um, if it is, we're going to pick it up and use it. If it's not, well, that's going to suck, because I planned on using it. Alright, well, leveling up, we just killed the, the boss, and, and uh, yeah. Repairing some gear, and the only way out of here, the abyss, is to warp out. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and warp out to where? What's the closest thing to get? Firelink Shrine, of course. Now let's go check and see if we can get the witch armor set. Beatrice, the witch, her armor set. I restocked myself with some more tea because this is a continuation of the last episode's playthrough. I mean, it's a continuation for me, I'm still playing. And shoot, what is this, episode 11, I think? If I'm not mistaken, this is episode 11. Uh, yeah, I ended up proving that, as I've stated before, summoning people for the Four Kings can actually be detrimental because you increase their health, and the Four Kings are all about knocking out their health as fast as possible, so... If you summon Witch Beatrice, she really doesn't do enough damage to make her worthwhile. And if you bring in a player summon, the player summon I have, I had, he had good intentions. Um, he was dodging the magic attack, because you can outrun the magic attack if you just run long enough. I think it lasts like 14 seconds. <sighs> but what he didn't realize is that, oh, it is there, good. What he didn't realize is, in that time period, I wasn't able to do enough damage, and so we just had more of the the king's popping up so it would have been better had he just taken the damage oh sweet there it is had he just taken the damage and kept fighting i like this gear set i've only i've used it once before witch hat the witch hat doesn't have the same ability but it's it just looks cool does that not look cool guys tell me that doesn't look awesome and actually let's see if we can use the beatrice catalyst i don't know what the okay um Catalyst belonging to Beatrice, the Rogue Witch, contrasts with Vinheim Catalyst. This ancient catalyst shows signs of being used for age-old sorceries. It has passed the hands of many generations to get here. All right, well, let's compare the stats. It looks the exact same as the Sorcerer's Catalyst, but it... I mean, in terms of stats, but it looks cooler, so we're going to use it. Yeah, oh, look at that, guys. Doesn't that just look awesome? Looks better than that little tiny wood stick that we have. And we got that, too, just for fun. And we can still fast roll. 19.8 out of 79.2, so we're almost at the exact same weight point. We don't need that ring anymore, so let's put on our Bellowing Dragon Crest ring. Uh, how would it look with the bunny ears? Whoops. Nope. It just, well, it doesn't look too bad, but you know what, guys? We gotta complete it with the witch hat. It's all in the hat. It is all in the hat. Oh, well, we got the Homer bones for it. Let's just bone them back. Gonna drink some more on sweet iced tea. I should make myself some iced green tea. I miss that from Japan. I used to stop at the the vending machines and get the uh, the uh, cold green tea in a bottle. Okay, cool beans. Now we can go ahead and let's do this first. Uh, oh, we don't have to run all the way there. We can warp. Back before the DLC content came out, for the longest time, uh, the warp points were very limited. They added a lot more warp points. The Undead Parish right here was not a warp point, and I'm so glad they added it. Because uh, this blacksmith is basically the foundation for most of the other blacksmiths. Ooh, yeah, you can have that very large ember. You take that, Andre. Let's reinforce our armor, if we can. I think it requires, what, Twinkling Titanite? Yes, darn it, it does. Well, oh, the hat can't be upgraded? Really? What the heck? Oh, yeah, it's just separated from the rest of them. Okay. If you look at the benefit, 33 to 35, 43 to 46, it's really not that significant. So we're going to save those Twinkling oh, Titanites for the shield. For the shield right there. That one right there. That shield right there. Okay. Uh, I want to upgrade my shield to plus 5 before anything else with the Twinkling Titanite. Okay, so, uh, 
we got the magic we want, I do believe. Let's warp to... What should we do first? I'm trying to think. We took care of the four kings. That's one of the lord souls. We need to get four lord souls. We could head to the catacombs. Mm -hmm. No. How about... I know. This is the order I usually do it in. We can head to the... Duke's Archives, and we'll take on Seath, the Scaleless. That sounds like a good idea to me. This armor set looks so cool. Now I feel like a sorcerer, even though it's actually a witch. Okay, we were already here, and we took care of the boars, because we were picking up the item for the DLC content area which of course allowed us to get to plus five on our enchanted longsword which means that we're done upgrading it another great option for a sorcerer build is an enchanted falcon and you can actually find an enchanted falcon in the duke's archives you just have to upgrade it at that point now the best place to farm upgrades for enchanted weapons or for magic weapons um, we're talking about blue titanite shards, or I'm sorry, blue titanite um, chunks, is actually when we get right before the crystal case. But the reason I didn't wait was because, well, we'd have to wait until this point, actually past this point, to do it. So I wanted to get a maxed out weapon much faster. I'm sure you guys already know, but if you don't know, I have some awesome PvP videos. I think they're awesome because I spend a lot of time on them. So if you're interested in Dark Souls PvP, you should definitely check them out. They're all over my channel and I have playlists that have uh, them in order. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! These guys can real. oh my gosh. These guys can really hurt, so be careful. And there's a dude shooting at us too. Do not underestimate this area. That little shoulder bash that they do is so quick and they give so little warning it's really hard to prepare for it properly. Crystal straight sword, I don't need to be picking those up anymore. I should just ignore them. Yeah, that looks so much cooler to use that catalyst, guys. It looks awesome sauce. Oh, I hate that move so much. Take that, sucker. Get on the floor. Lay down and stay down. Oh, he's buffed. See that aura around him? It's not there now. He's dead. He got buffed from the channeler. That's the channeler right there. Oh, shoot. It got the golem's attention. Darn it. <gasps> Crap. I just got shot in the back. That's so unfair. That's so not nice. And that dude's buffed. Great. Last thing I need is a buffed crystal dude. Roll. Alright, try this, my friend. Oh, shoot. He did try that, and it worked for him. Don't you stagger at all? Guess not. But now you're dead. Blue Titanite Chunks, where were you when I was farming? Where were you guys? You guys took forever to drop. This sucked. To be honest with you, I wasn't happy with you, Blue Titanite Chunks, not dropping. Let's bust some stuff up. I feel like killing that channeler. I hate that channeler so much. This is a good time to use a Crystal Soul Spear. Yeah, that's what I think of channelers, my friend. That's what I think of channelers. This stuff, by the way, you can't break it by rolling into it, so it can really get in your way if you're not careful. You can only break it by attacking it. 
floating book right there. That's always there in every version of the game. Take care of these guys as quickly as you can because you don't want a bunch of them on you at once. You saw what happened to me. I nearly died from these little guys. They hit hard. They're crystal weapons. Get a nice little soul. Soul of a brave warrior. Any warrior is brave who comes in here. Okay, now getting these guys is kind of... Oh, that guy's still buffed, isn't he? Oh, the buff just wore off. Yeah, not very tough now, are you? Mr. Archer trying to pick at me with your little bow and arrow. Huh, what do you think about that, huh? How's about that? Does that feel good? Not so tough now, are you? Go up to this guy first. He can shoot you in the back if you go up to the other one. Nice. One shot kill. Oh, I didn't get turned around in time. That sucks. That was so cheap. You cheapy. And I think there's an item down here. One of these little alcoves into these little kind of walkways has a, a spell. A greater magic barrier? Or a greater magic... Ooh, twinkly titanite. Nice. Greater magic shield? I want greater magic barrier. That's useful. And it might actually come in... I don't know. Does it come in handy against Sif? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. I think there's also a chest down there, if I remember it correctly. Oh, yeah, I'm going to drink for this. Yeah, nice try. Oh, shoot. Fail on my part. Camera wig out. Hmm, I'm sure I can just walk there. There's nobody hiding over to the side. Oh, there is. Bring it, my friend. Oh, that's all you got? Come on. Ooh, Twinkly Tight Knight. I think I only need one more now. Yep, just one more and I can max out my Silver Knight Shield. And get it to plus five. With some awesome stability. Yeah, that's what I think of you, my friend. And you. Little rainbow. They give off this like rainbow effect when they're hit. But wait a minute, does that appear to be moving? Yes, it is, and we know what that means, don't we, guys? Dead before he could make a move. Gimme, 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 Crystal Knight Shield. There's an ember in the Duke's Archives that allow you to turn any weapon, or just about any weapon or, or uh, shield into a crystal version. As I said before, the crystal versions hit super hard, but they cannot be repaired. They can only be upgraded. So if you want to keep using it, you either got to make a new version of it once it's fully upgraded, or you got to, um, I think you can de-upgrade or on-upgrade it. I think that's the word, on-upgrade, and then re-upgrade it. I don't know. I don't really use crystal weapons. They're powerful for what they are, though. I will say that. Here's the crystal dude. Hello, my friend. Well, that's not nice. I'm going to parry you, because you're not being nice, Mr. 734 damage. Not dead, what? What? Take that. How's that feel? Is that good? Unfortunately, he doesn't drop anything, just gives you 3,000 souls. Oh, Crystal Lizard, you're mine, buddy. That's what I thought. And there we go, we got all the Twinkling Titanite we need to upgrade my shield. Hmm, crystal everywhere. Crystal going out of the walls. For this fight, you want to use the Ring of Sacrifice. Because, watch, trust me. Trust me. Hmm, it's Seath the Scale. Actually, let's use the rare Ring of Sacrifice, just in case. This way we don't get curse. See my curse meter building up? Do, 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 do. Actually, if you can come into this fight with low health, it would help you. Come on. There we go. Now, for those of you wondering why did I just purposely kill myself, it's because this battle's impossible. It is literally impossible. Any damage you do to Seath is instantly healed. 
So I use the rare ring of sacrifice to make sure I get all my souls and humanity back and I'm not cursed. Okay, now we're in the prison because that's what happens when you die. You get sent to prison for dying. That makes sense, doesn't it? Now that we're here, what do I want to do? Oh, oh this is going to feel good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And let's pop some souls and level up. Think that's enough, maybe? Nope, need 5,000 more almost. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Dang it, that's the wrong one. Dang it! I hope that's enough. Oops. Clicking buttons too fast, guys. I'm clicking buttons too fast. Oh, I need about 300. We can get that from these guys in here. Be careful, you share your cell with three of these annoying dudes. Who are very tricky and like to kill you. Because they're not very nice. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I thought, my friend. That's all I need, thank you very much. Goodbye, my friends. And let's level up. We're gonna stock a vitality just to even that number out. I don't like that uneven number. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a serpent, dude. How are you, my friend? Dead, I take it? Oh, look at that, and I even got a key. Well, that's a pathetic guard. Okay, this is the most annoying part of the game, guys. They turn on a siren, and it doesn't stop until you get there and turn it off. Or you can actually die, and the siren will turn off. I like to kill these guys. They're trying to run all the way up here. No, you don't. And no, you don't either. I don't think so, buddy. Nope. Not today, my friend. Okay. There's a few items in some of these locked cells, but there's also enemies, so do be careful. Okay, the enemies on the outside that are coming up the stairs cannot get to you while you're in the cage. But they can, they do have this grab attack that does massive damage, and they can also shoot this stuff at you from a distance, so be careful. And surprisingly, believe it or not, these critters, you can backstab them. Watch, I'll try to do it if I can. Yeah, you can backstab them, and there's a reason why. They used to be human, is the common belief, and there's some evidence to that. The belief is that Seek the Scalus, that dragon that killed us, is experimenting on people here. And created the Serpent Men as well as those nasty things. What you got for me, huh? What you got for me? Nope, that's not good enough. That's not good enough either, my friend. 372 is your name. We're gonna hop down here. Be careful not to get hit by this guy. Plunge attack would have been better. And grab this extra prison key. Be careful of the enemies on the outside. Ooh, backstab! Makes you invincible to the other enemy while you're in the animation. And backstab you. Ooh, humanity. They drop humanity if they drop anything. Okay. Also down here are a few more of them, so be careful. They're nasty. They're not very nice. They don't like you. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, that was so close. I couldn't lock on. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. They're also easy to kill with my enchanted longsword. Backstab in order? Yes. <coughs> Any humanity for me? Any humanity for Fox? Nope. Alright, these ones here are not hostile. But when you kill them, they drop faith spells. And if you if you sit and listen to them without the siren, 
they actually are crying, and you can hear them crying. Bounce of the sunlight? Miracle soothing sunlight. There's Big Hat Logan. We're gonna free him with a uh, key that we get a little later, because we want to buy some of the spells he sells inside here. Some of the most powerful spells in the game are sold here. Okay, this area up here is a little tricky. I probably should have uh, used Homing Soul Mask before I got to the top. You know, I should just use Soul Spirit this rate. These guys are not nice to me today. That one can shoot uh, lightning if you're not careful. Normally, she sits back and shoots lightning. I'm surprised she just charged at me today. Alright, here's the key to get out of this area. At the top of the stairs up the ladder. And we're going to shut off that annoying alarm siren noise. Oh my gosh. Peace to my ears. I'm wearing headphones, guys. That sound is surprisingly annoying. Also, inside there is a Firekeeper's soul, so you definitely want to open that up and go inside. So peaceful. So quiet. Silence is golden. There are some other secret items here, like that thing, which I don't know if I've ever gotten that. Have I? Yes, I've gotten that one. There's another one I haven't gotten, though. Isn't there? Maybe not. Maybe it's the same one I've been looking at. Remember that locked cage when we got that key inside the other one? Yeah. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Something super awesome? Something super awesome. I know it. Uh, just a soul. Okay, good enough. Good enough for me. Alright, we gotta run all the way back to the top. You could stop at the bonfire if you need to. It might be a good idea to restock all your goodies. Should we? Should we? Should we? Nah. We'll leave all the enemies dead. That's the way I like the enemies in this game. Dead. I'm not a particularly violent person, but I like bad people who are trying to hurt me dead. In video games, of course, guys. Video games. Okay, there's a way to get some items down there. I don't need them, so I'm not worried about it. Hmm. This looks like a clear area that I could just run through. Nothing will be hiding, trying to attack me around the corner. Ooh, got a humanity for that. Hmm. Nope, don't think so. I got an idea, let's do this. Be careful not to let those things hit the walls or else they disappear. Yep, and nothing will be right there. Ooh, look at that, guys. Hiding around the corner like a sneaky little guy. We'll kill him just for that. I will drink up. We got seven. This area up here can be a bit tricky, so be careful, guys. That channeler is shooting you, and there's another channeler up here. Uh, hit the channeler as hard and as fast as you can. Come on. No, he got away. Darn. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, lucky me. Okay, that channeler's down. Okay. Now he won't be shooting us in the back. Thank goodness. Looks like a clear way to go, right guys? No one's going to be hiding around the corner. Oh, look at that. Actually, the first time I played it, it did trick me. Kick. Kick that dude. They don't drop anything of uh, value other than their short sword, or the crystal straight sword, so don't worry about grabbing items they drop. Unless you want the crystal straight sword. Is there a treasure chest? Is there... I always forget which which uh, ends of which aisles or balconies here have treasure chests and which ones don't. 
Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. That would not be nice. Oh, I thought someone might try to shoot me in the back. This is the kind of area where you get shot in the back with arrows. Again, we're not going to worry about it. That item is just a crystal straight sword. Okay, we took care of these guys. And what we'll do is go ahead and switch this up. Ah, see how this works, guys? Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, how do you like that backstab for picking at me with that arrow? That's not nice. Get lost, my friend. Oh, I thought there was a chest there, but I guess not. Okay. Now we're on the upper level. And another guy shooting us with the arrows. Do they never end? 193. Give him a nice R2 attack. There's a chest on one of those down there, which contains the Avalon, which is a crossbow that shoots several bolts all at the same time. This most powerful crossbow in the game is actually pretty nifty. Uh, I rarely use it though. I, I just, I'm not a big crossbow guy in this game. No chest? Okay. And we also want to get that channeler if we can. So we'll get ready. We'll prepare for it. Oh shoot. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's, he's going, oh come on. Cheap. I call cheap on that one. I should be able to hit him while he's, he's going away. This treasure chest is safe and contains strong magic shield. That's what it's called. Strong magic shield. Is there a chest over that way? Is there? Is there? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we gotta switch this up to kill him. And I do want that Chandler dead, mind you. Make sure to turn your shield towards them because they can attack you. Oh, come on. That is so ridiculous. You don't even have enough time to attack them. Oh, shoot. Right to the face. Right to the freaking face, guys. Not very nice, is it? And I think we've got all the treasure chests that we need. Alright. Get a homing soul mass ready, guys, and you'll see why in just a second. Oh, I'm sorry, little dude. Did you mean to kill me with that arrow? Okay. Now, the bonfire's up ahead, but rather than hit up the bonfire, what I actually recommend that you do is head back to free Big Hat Logan before the bonfire. Otherwise, you have to fight all the enemies all over again. And that's not very fun. This, that's not it. Okay. Blue Titan Knight Chunk, though, guys. Not bad, huh? That one's safe. Ooh, the Channeler armor set. I don't see anyone ever wearing that. And this, I believe, is the prison key. Archive Tower Giant Cell Key. Uh-oh, look at that. And one more. While we're waiting for that to drop, go around, whoops, we already got it. Oh, Symbol of Avarice. Uh, and that's the Enchanted Falcon as well. If we get enough of the things, we could actually get an Enchanted Falcon going. Watch this, guys. The Symbol of Avarice increases your drop rate, <laughs> but also uh, takes your health down. See my health dropping? But it's funny to put it on during PvP, because, you know, it's funny. You can troll people with it. But we want the Witch Hat. And this is the Crystal Ember, where you get to make crystal weapons and, and uh, shields. Okay, so let's go free Big Hat Logan before we do anything else. 
which entails simply going back. Meanwhile, a glass of tea is enjoyed. Ah, a sip of tea was taken by me. Now we can run back with almost nobody trying to attack us. Almost nobody. That stupid channeler is getting on my nerves lately. Oh, gosh, he got us again. It's really starting to get to me. Okay, I'm about ready to shoot somebody with some soul arrows. That's really getting on my nerves. Really? I can't lock on them up there? Seriously? No lock on at this point. That is such baloney. Well, screw it. Oh, come on. That is really starting to get on my nerves. Basically, this is the way back to the tower cell. The giant cell that has Big Head Logan in it. And also gives us a Firekeeper soul. Which makes it all worthwhile. It doesn't take long, guys. It feels like it does, but trust me, it doesn't. It's just a long run back up. And for the purposes of making it a little faster, we'll equip the Grass Crest Shield, which increases stamina regen. Which is helpful in times like these, when what you really need is lots of stamina. You can see as the stamina regenerates a little faster, significantly faster in this case. You can also use the uh, green blossom, which we affectionately call stamina grass. I've been playing this game for almost three hours straight at this point. I'm starting to get a little bit of fatigue. I'm ready to, to call it. So after this episode, I'm going to have to put it down for a bit. You guys won't notice though because I'm just I'm uploading these episodes after the whole thing has been finished. All right, dude, you're free. Goodbye. And we're actually going to see him very soon. Barkeeper soul. Nice, very nice. Okay. Homer bone would not really help because it would also restore all the enemies, which is what we're trying to avoid here, guys. As long as we don't die to that stupid channeler, we'll be fine. Don't let your stamina drop all the way, otherwise it, it'll stay gone for a minute and it just takes longer t to uh, load your stamina back up. Recover. Running in a witch outfit with a witch hat and a witch catalyst and a grass crest shield. There's no such thing as a witch shield, because witches don't use shields. Alright, we're almost there, guys. We're at about 30-some minutes, 33 minutes, I believe, in our playthrough for this episode, which is, what, episode 12, I guess? Whew, I've lost track. I have lost track of the episodes. What the heck are you doing? Is that like some sort of stretch exercise? Stretch that back. Feel it. Feel it in your lower back. Feel it from your head to your toes. From your nose to your toes. Okay, a stupid channel is probably shooting at us still. Oh, we could go kill him. I have a I have a thing for that channeler right now. I want him dead. Oh come on. Yes. Goodbye, my friend. I never liked you anyway. And I'm gonna fling your body all over the place. Thanks to the Havoc engine. Alright. We're good to hit up that bonfire, guys. You will occasionally get uh, invasions here. <coughs> Excuse me, I had something in my throat. You will occasionally get invasions here. It's not that uncommon. You could get shot by an arrow right here. Be careful. By that dude up there. On top of that bookshelf. He likes to shoot people with arrows. Oh, so close. And yet so far away.
Take that, globe. Okay, we'll open up this, which leads to the area right before the crystal caves. And yeah, Seath is in the crystal caves. Uh, Seath isn't a particularly difficult boss, though he can be challenging. It just depends on how you go about it. And uh, depends on the armor, I think, as well. Prism stones. I don't plan on hitting up the boss quite yet. Wow, he really came quite a distance at us, didn't he? This is the easiest place to get those uh, blue titanite chunks, because there's so many of these guys so close to bonfire. All over this area. I think there's an item over here, if I'm not mistaken. There it is. Wonder if there'll be a dude just around the corner. Yep, what do you know? Any chunks for me? Nope. Well, what is this? It's a Lutite Knight chunk. So this area is uh, designed to help you get your magic and enchanted weapons upgraded. Alright, well that is it. Well, now we can head to the boss. Let's go human and see if we can get a summon. Uh, I'd be surprised if we find anyone, to be honest, though. It's not the most popular of locations to drop summon signs. We're also going to kindle the fire. The fire. The fire. Kindle it up to 10. And see if anyone's dropped a summon. It is, uh, it's, it's basically 1.30 in the morning in the U.S., depending on what part of the U.S. you're in. So, no, there's nobody there. I, I can't, I can't remember if Seath is weak to magic attacks, if they hurt him much. I hope they do, because that's everything I got. <laughs> what sucks in this game is when you go, like, all pyro, so you have a pyro build and a fire weapon, elemental, and then you encounter an enemy that is strong to fire. That sucks, because you got no other option available to you. You're basically stuck using the very thing that the enemy is strong against which is not cool. Well, hello there. These guys are pretty easy to kill while two-handing. You just sneak around behind and they really can't track you very well with their attacks. And you just go to town with the R1 spam. And you can stagger them quite easily. Oh, shoot. That guy was... He almost had me. Oh, goodbye. We actually don't have a reason to kill them since we've already upgraded our our gear. But we wouldn't mind just running pa Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if I can get out of there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we almost fell, guys. We almost fell and died. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I supposed to fight you? I don't care. Goodbye. Okay, this area has secret uh, ledges that are in Bizzo. But you know what? Who cares? Uh, there is a blue titanite slab down here. Um, I'm not going to go get it right now because it's just such a ridiculous risk to try to get it. Wait, where am I going? Right here. Basically, you need to use your prism... Uh, prism stones, I believe they're called? to try to get it. It's very difficult to get to it. Oh shoot, please tell me I don't fall off this. Woo, made it, okay. This guy right here is a tricky one. He's a little bigger, so that's a dead giveaway to you. He can track you fairly well, um, so you can't just run around behind and attack him. But if you notice the uh, snowflakes where they're falling, just follow them and continue on straight, but be very careful. I'm an expert, guys, I've done this before. But you haven't, if you're new, so be careful. Okay. 
Uh, this butterfly can attack you if you're not careful. These are basically little moonlight butterflies. They can drop blue titanite chunks if... I think they can drop slabs as well, if I remember correctly. Okay, these guys can be very annoying. I move forward just enough to get one's attention and take them out that way. Or, let me show you another nifty little trick, guys. I'll show you a trick. It's cheap, but it works. Just don't get hit. It helps if you can run fast. If you can't run fast, yeah, good luck. Okay, they will follow you in, and they'll be in here for the boss fight. And the secret is to do this. Goodbye, Seath. And now watch. Oh, shoot. You know what, guys? I just realized something. Darn it. Okay, I'm going to go into this the boss, boss fog wall. I forgot to go talk to Big Hat Logan. Okay, sorry. We'll have to reconnect after uh, I run back because uh, I forgot to go talk to Big Hat Logan and get the better spells. Silly me. Oh, this is where it's, uh, it helps if you've stored up some soul items and saved them up. Now, if you want to go through the entire Big Hat Logan process of getting his catalyst in his hat, you have to buy everything he has for sale, which I'm just not going to do. Sorry. Okay. So, what I want is... Homing Crystal Soul Mass and Crystal Soul Spear. So we can buy that, and now we're going to need 50,000 souls. Come again. That's a lot of souls. Let's see how many souls I can get from popping stuff. Definitely not 50,000. I might farm the golems until I have it, and then I'll reconnect. Okay, I'm going to do that, guys. I'm going to farm around until I get 50,000, and I will reconnect with you later. All right, guys. Um, I went ahead and farmed up all of the souls that I needed to buy Crystal Soul Spear. We are four levels short and our intellect to use Crystal Soul Spear, but the good news is we're ready for Seath. Now, notice that this time those guys can't get me. Okay, first things first. When coming through here, after the fog wall goes up, run around him. Oh crap. Watch out for that stuff. It can cast a curse on you. Okay. And run over here, and as soon as you hit this, he becomes vulnerable. He's immune to anything and everything until you hit this thing. You can kick it, yeah, you can do just about anything just to break it. I like to let him get nice and close. Because it paralyzes him for a second, and boom. He's not terribly weak to this, but he's not too strong to it, so we shouldn't have too much trouble, uh, I hope. Famous last words at this point. Oh, he rarely does that attack. That can cause a curse, so be careful. Holding your shield up can be helpful. Oh crap, I'm gonna get out of that as soon as possible and heal up. Okay. Oh crap. My curse meter is stacking. Alright. I'm gonna cast Homing Crystal Soul Mass and then go to town on him with my sword. Bad. I'm in bad shape right now. Don't, don't. Oh crap. I could go. I could get cursed any second now if I'm not careful. Okay, I got out of it.
Alright, and here we go. Hopefully this time we got him. I think we got him now. And that's it, guys. We got it. We got it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Seat the Scaleless. Alright, this, this episode went slightly long, but we'll have to call it there, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.